best team Josh Allen's ever had. The current 2024 Buffalo Bills. Yay or nay? Nay. Why? It doesn't matter. The other ones had the stars on them. The other best, ones the had best the, record he's had. I understand and, that. Yeah. So I. I but this is the I, this is a team, man. This is a team. Like, uh, if James Cook isn't going to be running between the tackles, yeah. let's get Ray Davis. If we're yeah. not going to have Keon Coleman, go on, Ritz, go on. we don't have Stephon Diggs <laughs> here, we don't have Dalton Kincaid. It's going to be Khalil Shakir moving the sticks. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna Dawson. It's going to be the Dawson Knox, um, you know, reclamation <laughs> weekend. You know, <laughs> Shoeless Mac Hollins. Sho you know what I mean? Shoeless Mac Hollins. You know, like uh, it doesn't matter that no Poyer, no Trey White didn't work with them. They got a game from Vaughn yesterday, you know? And let's do it. Every now and then you might get you might get a Vaughn game. Mm -hmm. Best team Josh Allen has ever had the current 2024 Buffalo Bills. <laughs> I, I now took one last hack at it. I'm not saying you have to change your answer, but what? what do you think? I, 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 I still think that team in overtime at Arrowhead with Sim sitting on the bench and losing the coin talk. I, I think that was a runaway Super Bowl champion. I love that team. I listen. I really respect this team. It's a very compelling case you just laid out Thank too. You. And it's there's this sense of screw it. Josh Allen's going to do it himself. I I don't think it's the best team they've ever had. I think it's the best record they've ever had. And my take larger today, mm -hmm. Rich, about the Bills is don't pretend like yesterday was a huge deal. Don't make it a bigger deal than it was. Well, Josh did not. I love it. Yeah, I know. I, I did too. It. He kind of totally downplayed Refuses it. Refuses to give it any credit. Just another game in the schedule. Even the McDermott saying there was not a statement game. There's no parade today. Josh Allen has beaten Patrick Mahomes four times. He does it pretty much every year. So don't act like we have to do backflips now because we beat the Mahomes team. Just p business as usual. I loved Josh Allen after the game with Tracy mm -hmm. Wolfson. And I know it gets a little exhausting because from Josh, you want a little more of a human reaction. Do you see him in the end zone? He's a complete maniac. That's his human reaction. Right. But the fact that he has this way to come down and say, not really that impressed with ourselves. We'll see them again. I would take the cue from him. That was so professional and so cool. But the sense, again, that in the same way that we're thinking the Chiefs aren't all that because they're so lucky and they're yeah. going to have to, how long can they keep pulling it out of their, yeah. you know, orifice? <laughs> and so the general sense is that for the Bills in this regard is when, when the playoffs hit, mm -hmm. the fact that they don't have those star players and those big name, bold face, Pro Bowl, short fire players. Yeah. Um, it's going to haunt them that, that against a, a Ravens team that's already beaten them. It'll haunt them uh, against the Steelers team that they're going to end up having to see potentially. Right. It'll haunt them. And I don't I don't know, man, like there there's a there's a beauty in the sum of the parts that's going on right now. And they have the one huge part in Josh Allen. That's why I'm asking best team he's ever had. If I'm going to make the case and help you make the case, and if I would come over, I think it's because Josh Allen's the best place he's ever been between the ears. I don't think he's ever been happier. Now, I'm talking about his team, his huddle, his roster, from everything I understand about his personal life is going swimmingly, and God bless him for that. But the Steph Diggs thing wasn't really a start-to-finish thing. That was a playoff thing. Diggs would lose his mind sometimes in the playoffs. He would not play, not perform well. He'd do the sideline histrionics. He'd do all of that. And Josh would constantly be asked about it. And I think that he was very happy to have him leave, not because of the season. They had great memories. And they, Steph Diggs was a great Buffalo Bill. Yeah. It would always be something in the playoffs. So when you watch his body language and him before games, during games, I think Allen has never been lighter and happier and um, that would be the case is that he could do it because of how good he feels. Yeah, the play caller, everything. And he, and he yes. did say afterwards multiple times there's a lot of love in the locker room. And I believe it. You know, and they're not going through, you know, knock on wood. The off the Yeah, I remember. Yeah, with the snowstorms yeah, and, and all the this tragedies. crazy stuff. Oh, it was right. Like, the DeMar, like, and, and nobody's, you know, and, and the coach is now being praised for his button pushing. I know. McDermott was awesome yesterday. That's what I'm saying. Awesome. Awesome. And, you know, he's not Belichick's little brother. There's none of that going on. It's just a matter of do they run into one of these AFC juggernauts who they're always there and they don't they couldn't handle Pittsburgh or they can't handle Baltimore. I, I think they're going to play Kansas City again. Mm. And, you know, I was <laughs> I'm pushing everybody on the show this morning because this is prisoner of the moment morning for the Bills. And I'm trying so hard to step back. Yep. And say, do not jump the Chiefs. Do not pick them apart. Just don't do it, especially against the Bills. I bet if we look up last year and Good Morning Football, we need at our show, we're probably saying when the Bills beat them last year, this is the year. It wasn't the year. We saw the Chiefs get their doors blown off on Christmas by the Raiders, and then they haven't lose, lost for the next nine months. I won't step on the Chiefs right now. I, I'm trying to have the perspective to step back and be like, 
All right, they won 15 in a row, and Buffalo was better than them last night. They'll still be there. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.